Hello, my name is Andy Hall and I am a certified application engineer here at Go Engineer. One of my favorite enhancements of 2011 is actually with the RX tool. Just here to show you some of the neat things they put in. I'll go ahead and of course activate it here. This is a great tool anyway to show to troubleshoot problems we might be having with SolidWorks crashes anything that's weird we can come in here and uh, do a little diagnostics they have sort of the well they've retained a lot of the the old stuff here with our diagnostics and problem capture just showing you some of the new things here is we now see system manufacturer model card information here in our in our diagnostics which now we can go and browse to solidworks.com and download a driver if we need to update a driver also in the problem capture tab they've enhanced it such that we can now either start with a problem description or start with a record video either way either process will work if we hit describe problem we can start filling out our information here to the the description and everything to the problem you know for example I'll just select things from the list just to get past this once I hit OK I can now move on to my record video it doesn't matter which step we do this in I'll go ahead and record a quick video just to show you how this works and some of the things they've done here as I start the video we're brought with this menu here that can give us an offer option to start a recording once I start a recording now I can start my problem capture. I'll go ahead and open up a part, do a simple extrude just off the front plane. And uh, now, if there's a problem at this point, I can either finish recording. If the problem was with SolidWorks crashing, it would of course crash. I'll go ahead and hit finish recording and now it says hey SOLIDWORKS must shut down in order to finish also go ahead and hit OK don't save the project and when I hit finish recording here it'll bring me back to my SOLIDWORKS RX tool which point I can now package my file once the packaging is complete now I, or now I can package my files once the packaging is complete I can go ahead and it'll ask me to save this file that I can send off to my reseller or SOLIDWORKS for troubleshooting. Now I'll show you one of the really cool things they've put in in case you're having problems getting approval for a new computer and you're on the slow junky computer. We now have an option to go to our to do a benchmark test. What this does is it'll actually start SOLIDWORKS and run some tests in the background, running some rebuilds, some some panning out and opening parts and running some various tests collecting data does it a total of five times averages it out and gives us sort of a score that we can go in and compare with other people who have run this test and just compare with other systems over the internet we'll show you how this goes I'm just running the test and you'll see it'll open up a file zoom in and zoom out and do what it needs to to collect the data Okay, so when the, the benchmark test completes, you'll be brought back to this window here where you can see the results of the test, the average of the five scores um, as they apply, and you get, you're given three scores and an overall score. Um, this is just information that you can share with others and compare with what other people have discovered when they've run this. Click on share your result, your score, and you get this window here where you can type in a name I'll just call this Andy's laptop and uh, of course select my computer type as a laptop when I hit publish it'll go out on the internet and share the information from my computer to other to the SOLIDWORKS website where other users can see and compare so now we can see what other people have already uploaded and you can compare your scores with other people's scores